I'll be back at the stage that I really love where I'm going to pop in all the soft pastels and bling it up a bit, put the icing on the cake so to speak. So I'll just get out my box of... So these are the icing colours I've chosen uh, for the reds on the samphire for the grasses with some highlights. A little bit of aqua here that I'm going to use for some little highlights and some deep purples for some of the shadows uh, tending towards blue and more towards the red violet. So let's start on that and see how we go. Just start on these bushes here and move in with a dart. Scramble a little bit of scrumble a bit of that on and then go in with some of the purples and the Soft violets there for the shadowed area. Again, down on this one, the same. So I've got the more red violets and the more blue violets. Mixing them up so we've got a bit of a, a warm and cool thing going on there. And a little bit of just the pinker violets as we go back around the corner. In amongst that, I do want to have some actual greens because these are a new set. I haven't rounded off any of the the square ones as well, so sometimes that's a little bit harder when you're doing shrubs and you want to have a more organic shape and not so square. I'm going to use a bright yellowy one for. some of the highlights on this bush. I'm just doing my old jabby jabby technique there, just to get a few hints of individual leaves. I'm not trying to do anything clever with that, just a few hints of individual leaves amongst it. And I'm also going to use a lighter green to put a few individual leaves into. And work a few of those down into the, the shadowed area as well. And that's that bush done. It may get darkened up a little bit. Over here again I'm just putting on some of the lighter greens, a little touch of real light, put a couple of those touches back there too, uh, and then some other greens going in, I've got a very dark green there, but I also want to put in some of the there too. And some of the little violets. And back here I needed to define these edges a little bit more with some darks. So just using that, that soft dark deep purple to do that then the darker green, moving into a lighter green and just a couple of, yeah, I'm just putting in some really light bits on here as well. So now they're showing up quite well. This area here is the shadowed area. I'm just putting some dark greens in there for the shrub where it's throwing 
shadows on them, but I'm also going to use these deep purples as well. And I'm putting that on in this upright kind of motion because That's how these grasses are growing. I will give them a few of the touches of the vines in there as well. And some very deep dark reds, sort of a magenta colour here for the very dark reds of, that are out here that are now in the shadow. So that's created a nice shadowed area there. I'm going to leave that magenta out because it's going to be a nice one to add shadows in with as well. Just need to work back into that a little bit more. It's defined there. Now I need to work on all this area. I'm going to go in with the darks, just scrabble them across to make some shadowed edges. And just deposit so nicely onto there. Here I'm Making some shadowed edges again. Bringing some of those shadows back into the, the main area too. I'm working in some of the darker greens just scrabbling them over the top here again just drawing drawing some of them back with some horizontal lines Nice loose action all over the paper. I'm trying to remember that I want some areas to have a little bit darker, uh, but overall this is quite sunlit, so I'm keeping this edge quite loose but quite dark. A little bit cooler. It's a little bit shadowed, just to help lead the eye in and not take us out the bottom here. And then I'm going to start working some of the reds. Let's work these all over the area where I want it to be fairly red which was up here, here and then down in this area here so just working in the red tops on those mounds of sapphire, sapphire. not so much over here, so it's more taking us up that way. I 
So I've got a whole range of these. I've got some little bits of orange colours. I've got the deeper reds. Color, a few highlights. Just to put a little bit of difference in the so it's just not all reds. Working away on it. I'm also going to put in some of these brown, sort of earthier colours, sienna colours. Very warm. And I'm kind of just blending by using the pastel there. I think the pink's a bit much, so it's coming, getting knocked back a bit. leaning more towards this instead of the pink. I'm going to make a little area here quite nice and light. around the, the shadows there. So I'm just using this sienna colour to knock back some of the red I've got in. I'm going to do it there as well. I really don't like the pink now I put it in, so it's coming out. That lovely thing about pastels, don't like it, get rid of it. I thought the pink might be a nice little contrast, but no, not so. I think this needs to have a little bit more warmth in it too, so I'm going in with this more yellow. Uh, not a lemony sort of colour. It's just a little bit warmer than that cool lemon, and that's just allowing me to sculpt those trees, shrubs, with a bit of light without it being too bright. Going back over to this one, I'm doing the same. A little bit of the, the cool will show through, but not as much as I had originally there. as well because I didn't like it. So I've lost a lot of the green in there and I do want a little bit of green so I'm going back with this to add in some suggestions of of green amongst all the Pull it down a little bit. Not too much.
because I'm just dabbing it across there to give a feeling of the grass is growing. And it needs a nice some, some little hints of brighter colour there too. So they're going in now with this lemony yellow. Nice little taps of it, just bring little bits of highlights. That's really dabbing on the, the light. Just as I was dropping the light out of the sky there, now I'm dropping it onto the onto the areas there and, and picking them up a bit. And then back in with I kind of got lost a bit amongst all that. So now I'm just picking up some of the reds. Try not, try not to overdo it. Going in with a very dark and gentry one now. Put some of the reeds down in this more shadowed area. And I feel this is too dark, so I want to go back in. I'm choosing this. That's just lightening up that area too. I'm fairly happy with that. It needs to sit and percolate a bit. This area could be slightly... Oh, you know what I'm going to do there? I'm just going to have some of it coming across like that. So it's not quite going out of there. Just adding in some more grassy area there. We'll see how that goes. I'm not 100% convinced about it, but I just thought it was too light coming out of the corner there, so just modifying everything a little bit to make it a little bit darker there. And just pull that across a little bit, some of those, and strengthen them up a little bit. 
So I've quite strengthened that up. It's going to go on with a bit more of this. Put some grasses on top of it. It's a little... you know, I don't want to make this too detailed in this area because I'm going to draw the eye away from it, not, not into it. But I can give it touches and light up there and then lessen it off as we come down here. The greens are a little cooler. If I can put some of those magentas in for the reds. And then as we come up they can get a little bit more the reds to take the emphasis off, off more off some areas and onto other areas. Then I'm going to just pull some swathes of that over this area. Now I'm going to leave it for a while. It needs to just sit there, I need to think about it a bit and I'll come back later and we'll do a little review of it and see what it is I need to change because there are definitely things I need to change but I'm too close to it now. I've been looking at it too long and I need to think about it and come back to it later. So I'll see you next time when we look at what I could change, what's working and any areas that need strengthening or blurring off a little bit. See you then. Bye for now.